Well, Jan and I are here up in the gallery, metaphorically speaking. Uh, I'm in my gallery, he's in his gallery, and uh, we were uh, uh, watching another vintage film presentation, this time a TV show from the early 50s called Do yep. You Trust Your Wife? Yeah, it, what a, what, this art, this was a classic um, for a number of reasons, but 19, what did you say it was, 56? 1950, well, no, this is 56 it, and, to 57 was uh, uh, Edgar Bergen's version of it. Yeah, I, I, you know, the first thing that struck me about watching this was the, the money, the prize. The, oh, gift, big, the big, big prize for the, for the show was $100 a week, but mind you, not just $100 a week. You could live on that. You would retire for a year on $100 a week. Wow, talk about nostalgia. <laughs> well, but, but before before you qualified to win that $100 a week for a year, you had to go uh, win a whole bunch of prizes for like 20 bucks and 30 bucks. Yeah, Okay. Yeah. big so, deal. That's the way all game shows work. <laughs> you know what I loved about this is, um, first of all, it's it's a typical game show. It's a, it's a pretty good game, actually. But it's an opportunity for the host to tell jokes. Mm. And in this case, the host is Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy and Mortimer Snurd, mm. his his uh, puppet characters. And um, he was a he was a big star of film, uh, vaudeville. So naturally, when television came along and they needed a game show, who are they going to turn to? The ventriloquist comedian, uh, and and let him host the show. And the whole first half of the show is making jokes with the people, right? right. Uh, As as every game show is today. So I have to I have to admit that I don't ever remember having seen this version of it. It, it morphed into uh, Who Do You Trust with Johnny Carson, and then I think right. another version with uh, Groucho Marx. And so, but what it did recall was uh, seeing. Uh, Edgar Bergen with Charlie McCarthy, and I remember more of a nerd. Not he's got another puppet as well on like Ed Sullivan and variety shows. So yes. I re I remember a lot of that, but uh, I don't remember this show at all. And to say that the jokes were corny is being generous. <laughs> I mean, it's being very generous. You know what? They're not bad. They're, they're of course oh. they're corny, but they're not bad. Oh. And and it's a funny show to watch even now, but you get the sense that the the game means nothing, and even though hundred bucks a week was something you could retire on, you know right. that was that that to me just was the first thing that struck me about watching this old show. But well, it's like a lot of old game shows, you know. It's it's humorous, and the game is almost secondary to the humor and so, the entertainment. So there were there were there was a dialogue. Early on, uh, that, that uh, uh, Edgar Bergen would have a Charlie McCarthy or Mortimer Snurd or some of his other puppets, even before this came on, because I actually went and watched a, a couple of other uh, episodes, other places, and then I watched what I remember, Johnny Carson, who this was the show that was prior to him getting the Tonight Show, and one of the really interesting things about it to me was a year after Johnny Carson took over, and even the, the year he took over, you could see that his first 10 or 15 minutes, because he, he was doing his bit, was really the beginnings of his stand-up and why he was a master at telling jokes and, and yeah. telling stories and things like that. But a year after he started, the, um, uh, the announcer uh, had a different commitment of some kind, and... His announcer they brought in was Ed McMahon. On and, Who Do You Trust? On Who Do You Trust? And he became yeah. his sidekick forever through the end yeah. of The Tonight Show. So it was really kind of interesting how this led into... And by the way, I don't ever remember watching uh, uh, what they called then is Who Do You Trust with Johnny Carson, other than I think that they, uh, from time to time on The Tonight Show, went back to that to show an example of something goofy he'd done there uh, right. as a precursor to it. And then yeah. you and I remember, because we were discussing this a little bit earlier, off screen, uh, Groucho Marx, who uh, uh, took over and had a similar uh, kind of thing, but he was really funny and he was biting yeah. and 
And yeah. But I, it, it's interesting. It's interesting how the game, you know, it's a basic game. It's a fun game. Um, but it's a, it's a game that's designed to give the host, who is a comedian, the opportunity to make jokes and entertain people. And think about the comedian. This show lasted long be- long after Edgar Bergen. Why? Because all the hosts were comedians. It went right. from Edgar Bergen to Johnny Carson to Groucho Marx, who I do remember uh, seeing. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Groucho Marx had something or the duck would come down. <laughs> You so, say the magic so the, the, so the magic word, right? Yeah, yeah. And they they're all game shows. They're all hosts. They're all comedians. But it, this is worth watching. It's really maybe maybe the word is seminal, you know, because this was the first of that string of who do you trust? This is who do do you trust your wife with right. Edgar Burke? Right. Watch so that, it on the Vintage Film Channel dot com and. YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. And and subscribe to them and subscribe to us because we like to know that we have lots and lots and lots of friends who actually don't really care about us, but care about the channel and <laughs> encourage us to keep watching things like Do You Trust Your Wife? and at least bring up some nostalgic memories for you. Uh, and yes, as John said, watch it. Even if you just go to watch it for the Edgar Bergen uh, uh, segment, that's enough. Just to remember who he was, uh, he was kind of fun. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.